dear Professor Give me by the brownie. Cooper. Uh, uh, it's mine. Give me brownie. I'm oh. no. Fred and George Weasley. This is a common room, not a common animal room. Get out. <laughs> Some discipline around here. Where was I? Yes. Dear Professor Cooper, I am trying very hard to study for my history of immunology exam. But Professor Umbridge has not been preparing me very well. See, I'm a little confused on the T-cell development, so I was wondering if you had any ideas for me. Signed, Hermione Granger. Hedwig, don't tell Harry I'm using you, and Crookshanks is going to get very jealous. Deliver that to Professor Cooper. Oh, I have so much work to do. Oh. Where did my book go? Oh, yes, here it is. A history of immunology. Oh, thank you, Hedley. I was so quick. Dear Hermione, if you look in my pensive, I think you should find an excellent explanation of T cell development. Signed, Professor Cooper. Let's see. If those twins didn't get rid of my pensive, I should have it around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Silly me! I have one right here. Now, uh, let's see. I think she. Yep, there. I always hate doing this. We're sick of summer and it's waiting around It's like we're sitting in the lost and found Don't take no sorcery for anyone to see how Gotta get back to Hogwarts We gotta get back to school We gotta get back to Hogwarts Where everything is magic cool Back to witches and wizards and magical beasts To goblins and ghosts and to magical beasts It's all that I love and it's all that I need I'm sick of summer and this waiting around Man, it's September, so I'm skipping this town Hey, it's no mystery, there's nothing here for me now I gotta get back to Hogwarts I gotta get back to school I gotta get myself to Hogwarts Where everyone thinks I'm cool Back to witches and wizards and magical beasts To goblins and ghosts and to magical feasts It's all that I love and it's all that I need at Hogwarts, Hogwarts, I think I'm going back What is this place? It might be the thymus. TCR Barnes. TCR Barnes. Wait, wait, freeze. That's right, I remember. I remember now. It was just last week. So we have Professor McGonagall as the dendritic cell. She's holding our sorting hat, which either has an MHC class 1 or class 2 receptor. If the T cell receptor recognizes the self peptide on the MHC class 1, the CD8 will be triggered and the CD4 will go away. And if the same thing happens, if another self peptide is put on there and the CD4 recognizes, 
and the T cell is functioning. That must be MHC class 2. And the CD8 goes away, and it's now a helper T cell. on the dendritic cell and the self-pathite, the T cell fails to even recognize it, it's a muggle, and it will be immediately killed by the Dark Lord macrophage triggering apoptosis. Muggle! A vaticadavra! Uh, do I die yet? <laughs> do I die now? I forgot about this part, and this happens in a positive selection as well. But we talked about the self peptide that goes on the MHC molecule, but we forgot to mention where that actually comes from. And it comes from a special spell, it's a transcription factor. We learned about it last year. And she says, autoimmune regulatar, except she did it wrong. It's not autoimmune regulatar, it's autoimmune regulatar. And that presents the self-peptide that goes on the MHC molecule. Okay. okay, so in our last phase, if the T cell binds too strongly, to the MHC with the peptide, it will be killed. But if the T cell recognizes the MHC, but it does not bind too tightly, it will fully develop into a T cell and it will make its way down to the secondary lymphoid tissue, which we are now approaching. I have my other T cells. Review what we went over. So, on the first stage of T cell development, we have VDJ recombination, and this is to make our TCR. So, we'll end up with segments of DNA, the V, D, J, and C. So, for the alpha chain, we'll end up with the V and J. For the beta chain, we'll end up with the V, D, and J. And they both have the common C region. So, our RAG1 and RAG2 enzymes will kick out the extra DNA that we don't need. And this will make our T cell receptor. But next, we have to figure out if the T cell is going to work or if it's going to bind too strongly and thus be detrimental to the body. So we need to figure out if it's going to be a muggle or a wizard. So in positive selection, if the T cell recognizes the MHC, but it doesn't, if it binds at all, it will be saved. And if not, it will be killed. And 98% of us don't even make it, aren't even wizards. But in negative selection, if the T cell binds too strongly to MHC, it will also be killed. And if it binds enough to recognize, but not anything more, it will be saved. And that will give our lineage of developed T cells. Like the witches and wizards and magical beasts, to goblins and ghosts and to magical beasts. It's all that I love and it's all that I need at Hogwarts, Hogwarts. It's